I'm Aisa Gonzalez, and we are in my bathroom today. We're gonna do a bright eye makeup for this summer look. So all 2020, I basically spent it indoors. And I, when I was bored in the middle of quarantine, I like to experiment. For the first time ever, I started playing with makeup. All these incredible makeup artists have sim something in common, and it's hydrating your skin. I make sure to do this all the time. So I put moisturizer, but I like to put oil. I just feel like oil and moisturizer really allows my makeup to last throughout the day and also just gives me a natural glow. Your skin starts getting plumpy and red and hydrated and pretty. You gotta make sure to hydrate your forehead because that's where all the lines start happening. So I'm a fan of face tools. I have them all. Sometimes I have crazy hours, so sometimes I'll be up at 4 a.m., 3 a.m., 5 a.m. I had a long day before and I'm a little bit bloated, I'm a little tired. And this is really funny because this is a tool I like to use. <laughs> People confuse it a lot of these times with other things. I love rolling my face so it can get a little bit of blood flow, get that defined jawline. It's my jawline secret, you guys. So I try to just go with the roller, relax my jawline, and do it all over my face, do it on my forehead. It allows blood flow to kind of come to your face and kind of just bring it up. When I'm done doing that, you can see that my skin is plumped. I will start with my foundation. I don't like too much foundation, so I use this. They're not necessarily foundation, they're a little bit more of a moisturizer slash um, sunscreen slash a little bit of concealer. So I like to use this. I have the dewy version of it too when I wanna have a little bit more of shine, but if I'm gonna add shine the way that we're gonna do it today, I wanna make sure that I am not putting too much shine. And I like to do like two little pumps. And if you have little breakouts like I do right here, I like using my fingers, and I like to treat my foundation the way I treat moisturizer, sort of gliding it on my skin. We've all made that mistake where like, we put it on, we leave, and we're looking in a large mirror, and then we have like a blop. I make sure to look in a smaller mirror to make sure that the makeup has set in. I think that during the day, if it's like a day look and you're gonna be out, let's say you're going for lunch with your friends or drinks during the day, you're gonna be outdoors. You wanna wear a light foundation so it doesn't look like you're wearing too much makeup. And as you can see, even I just put it on, right? I just applied it to my face and it's already warming up and you want it to sit. I like to air it a little bit just so that, you know, it. it the pores have a second to absorb them in, take them in. Because then if you put a lot and you're not letting it settle, you probably are over applying. So that's really important. We maybe need three sips of a coffee, <laughs> a little dance in the bathroom. Mm. So then I use this flat brush and I kind of let it underneath my eyes so it doesn't crease. You see there, ba -ba 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 -ba. bring it around my eyes. And then I move on to the eyeshadow. Today, we're gonna do a really nice green. I like to use a flat. My eyelid is not that big. Pretty small. So I have to do little beauty tricks so that my eye looks a little bit bigger. But basically, I kinda like to go up and look at the light so I don't overdo it with my eyeshadow. Make sure to go in there. See, and then follow that sort of line. You can see, I can even see it from here. I like to, as I said, use a little hand mirror so the mirror on the wall doesn't trick me into believing that I'm doing something right when I'm not. And I try to get as close at the lash line as possible. I'll do it here and then I'll show you guys with my eyes closed so I don't ruin the makeup. A little hand mirror will never lie. And I actually, when I finish my makeup, I like to go outdoors and look at myself in the mirror in the natural light. So as you can tell, I have already added a little bit of green on that eye. So I like to follow just right there. I'll do the second eye really quickly. 
Right now it looks a little messy, right? Bear with me, it's gonna look amazing. So I'm gonna make the right eye more of a day look and I'm gonna make the left eye more of a night look. Let's say I want a cleaner look, more of a structured night sexy cut eye. I like to use, one second, my own saliva. Gross, I know. So then I kinda clean it up <laughs> to make it really defined. You can tell. Eyebrow, defined, not so much defined. So if I'm not gonna do so defined, I'll just go in and mimic little hair. Little hair, little hair. And then elongate the eyebrow. I'm gonna use eyeliner. I like to use brown. I feel like black uh, eyeliner sometimes makes it super aggressive and it doesn't blend in that much. And Copper colors like this really bring out the red in my eye. So it actually gives me a little bit of pop. And I'll tilt my head again up and I will try to make sure to follow my eyelash. So my eyeliner kind of blends into my eyelash. And then I like to do that. You see like, it kind of brought it up. Follow it, follow it, follow it. Bing, 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 bing. It looks crazy but it cleaned it, so it kind of lifts it. Bam. Bum. And then I kind of clean it around with my own saliva. I love to wear this mascara. I have to raid every store to find it, and then I buy like seven, because they sell like pancakes. But they're great, it's really good because you can wash your face, especially if I had like a long night, just like stumble into bed and fall asleep. Sometimes you had one too many tequilas and it's okay. Happens to me often. I like to go under to really get the bottom of my lashes. I like to do a little dusting, but not too intense. And as you can see, I don't do the inner lashes. I just don't like it. It looks really good on other people. It just depends on your eye shape. So there we go. You can see the difference between one eyebrow and the other, right? This is more of a fresher look. It feels more girly. Defining the eyebrow can make you look a little bit more feminine. And then there's the third step to it, right? You did this during the day, fun, cute. You're in a little cute outfit and then you upgraded. I'm a big fan of going into the waterline. I'm all about opening my eye. So again, I'll go inside. It makes her eye look longer. I'm gonna do it in the mirror so you can see. So it's a little beauty trick. And then I go in the bottom lash. This is terrifying sometimes. And then I'll dust a little bit the bottom of my eyelashes. And then again, my little beauty trick. You can see the difference now. Went from like a day look, is it more of a night look, to a day look. I always check for no reflection. I kind of go like this, as you can see. And then, yeah, I'm gonna do quickly the same thing on that side. So, I'm gonna try not to talk so I don't poke my eye out. Wish me luck. 20 minutes later. So there we have it. Retouch my eyebrow, boop, boop, boop. So I mimic the same one on the left side. There we go. I'm gonna go with my concealer and then I'll go boop, 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 boop. You have a breakout, you retouch it. And I like to go up here so it gives it a little bit of cheek definition. So, I like to warm my fingers in my hands, just like that. And then use these fingers on my face. Not pulling on your face is really important. The skin, even though our faces are really tough, can sag easily. And I try to still keep the um, sort of messiness of the eye. Cheekbone, zit. Laugh lines, keep it clean. So now we are gonna go with the glow. Highlighting the tip of your nose. We've probably seen it in millions of videos. It's crazy, it changes your face. I'll grab like this or that one with my finger and I'm gonna show you the magic nose job. <laughs> you kinda put it in the tip of your nose and you go up, kinda pull it. This is crazy, you guys, it can change. Look at that. Bam, and then I'll grab it, boop, 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 and just push it onto my cheekbone. 
And I like to like sit it here so it connects the makeup a little bit more. Even a little bit up in my eyes so it blends it in. Bam, 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 bam. So there you have it. I didn't use a lot of blush as you can tell because what I wanna do is keep the skin very neutral and let the eyes talk. Now the eyes have that Esmeralda look to them. And again, just a little chapstick, a little bit of color. I like to keep it natural. Just sort of a lid on my lips. This has a little tint. <laughs> so here you have it. This is my bright eye makeup. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for joining me in my morning. I'm ready to go. Enjoy my afternoon, Vogue. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>